more records revealed back in 2014. Then Vice President Biden had a White House meeting with two Chinese executives. This was his 15th meeting with the businessman tied to his son, Hunter Biden. One of those Chinese businessmen emailed Hunter days later. He thanked him for the meeting and he offered to repair Hunter's $100,000 electric vehicle, saying, quote, last Friday when we visited D.C., I heard you say that your Fisker is out of order and could not get service. Sorry, it would be our honor to get your Fisker fixed. I would like to give you a call to see what we could do to help you with the next step. It would be our great honor to welcome you to visit Fisker or Wang Shang at any time. Joining us now to react, Fox News contributor and New York Post columnist Miranda Devine. Uh, Miranda, just the details once again. Here, you know, with all of these details, we're now up to 15 meetings with just this one company alone. Of course, there's other connections as well. You would think, Miranda, at some point, for example, the FBI would say, well, this is interesting. Maybe we should look into this. Hi, Will. You certainly would think that. You also would think that the White House might answer one or two questions on this issue instead of standing by Joe Biden's repeated insistence that he knows nothing about his son Hunter's overseas business dealings. And uh, there are just you know, at least a dozen, as you say, 15 now, uh, recordings of uh, Joe Biden having met with Hunter Biden's business partners, uh, most of them uh, that we have records of on the laptop and uh, from White House logs, etc., are overseas business partners, including Chinese. Now, uh, this association that Hunter Biden had with uh, this Chinese company uh, through his lobbying firm back in 2012, um, this was occurring at a time when President Obama had appointed Joe Biden, his vice president, as his point man for China with the aim of uh, controlling or stemming China's uh, increased expansionism. And of course, that didn't work. Uh, Joe Biden failed miserably in that task. However, his son Hunter and his brother Jim got very rich through his Chinese influence. And right. uh, this particular company we're talking about, Wang Zhang, um, it, back in 2012, uh, was uh, in, in, um, in business with a client of Hunter's, uh, of his company, Seneca Global Advisors. And, um, and President uh, Xi Jinping, who actually at that point was vice president, actually came to America, had dinners and lunches with Joe Biden, the vice president, within weeks of his being appointed as the China point man. Mm -hmm. And then they both went to L.A. together and uh, unveiled this wonderful $1.25 billion merger between Hunter's business partner and this company, Wang Zhang. You know, Miranda... This week, for example, Christopher Ray, the head of the FBI, was in front of Congress. He's talking about some of these whistleblowers. The red flags are everywhere. I interviewed John Paul Mac Isaac, uh, the Delaware repair yeah. shop owner. He told me how little interest the FBI had in the information. Now you have whistleblowers, and Ray says, oh, that's, that's concerning. But that's not enough. Concerning's not enough. Why so little interest from the FBI? It's incredible. Uh, it really, you listen to Christopher Ray uh, testifying and he's like Mr. Magoo. He can't see anything. He doesn't seem to know who his own uh, FBI uh, people are. Um, he's been sent multiple letters by Chuck Grasley, for instance, alerting him to the fact that he had an agent and an analyst who were actively intervening in the, F in the uh, FBI's investigation into Hunter Biden right. um, or derogatory information coming to the FBI about Hunter Biden, which would include uh, the material from the laptop, which they'd had since December 2019, the actual laptop, yeah. and it would include in October 2020, Tony Bobolinsky material that he gave to the FBI. It's stunning, Miranda. It really is. And it, it, uh, it should lead to other questions about exactly what's going on at the FBI. Miranda Devine, always great to talk to you. Thank you. Thanks, Will.